What's up, guys? I'm going to do a Valor update for you. Um, there's something that's pointed out, and I never did an update after I figured this out as a strategy. And also, <clears throat> um, I haven't actually completed a Valor. I'm always dying at 11 now. I mean, it is frustrating for a badass guys. But, of course, I don't use any kind of boost or anything like that. Now, big-ass spinners, whatever, might do that or whatever. But um, I'm more of a conservative player. I succeed by strategy. And if I feel like blowing some money, I'll blow it. But I still do it in a conservative, smart fashion. I'm waiting on my... Um, troops to come back so I can change my beast skills. So, um, I'm a, um, mage guy. So I got my attack, mage attack on the second star, damage against infantry, mage attack. This gives me a 4k army size, plus I have the 6.5 on that. Now this I've been debating, do I do the 10% on infantry to make me take down the infantry faster, or all around HP, or reduce damage from mages? The mages, in the first place, are not um, geared to take down the infantry, nor the angels. The angels, you worry about the archers first. So if I can take down their army, you know, or at least heavily before my... Uh, um, before my infantry go down, then I'm doing all right. So I got plenty to pick from here. Anti-infantry, um, anti-angel, uh, anti-mage. Um, I could do, you know, this anti-angel, which damage increased against angels, but there also don't, because I have angels, I don't concern myself too heavily with the angels as my winning strategy. Ooh, excuse me. Um, this, the archers, that saves my angels. So, but I'm an attacker. So it makes you think, is it better for me to have everything geared towards attacking? Or is it better for me to resist damage? Um, and that's another thing about these games is, is like to spearhead, to gear your boosts towards one animal you can't you can't well-rounded succeed if you go against somebody that's spearheaded in a strong one suit of something all right so in defense and taking chance um it's good to have a well-rounded but if you really want to succeed you need a strength um so my attack um, and my damage is my strength. I support the attack <clears throat> all around because I have angels and mages that do my damage. And then I want to knock down infantry as fast as I can. And then the mo more troops I can put in my march, the better. Right? So that's why I got anti-infantry. Now, when it comes to this guy do I want HP for all of my troops or do I want the extra 10% infantry thing is that in the valor itself I can already um, reduce damage from archers and reduce from mages increase against infantry increase against horses this shows sorry I'm still yawning on my boosts here I got an extra 14.1 mage attack Army size limits ten and a half. Um, I mean, my attack is just—it's super for not being boosted at all. And then I got my Colossus here, and I have supported against infantry and mage attack. And secondly, mage damage against archers because I want to kill those fuckers as soon as I can too. Um, because. Again, my special bonus is on horses. Well, you don't find huge populations of horses in the major killer castles, except like an archer castle or something like that occasionally. 
Either that or it's a castle you won't be soloing anyway. So, here we go. I chose to go with a little bit of a spread where I could. So, here is where I died off and lost level 12 yesterday. So, it's been making me question how I set up my troops. This is how I had them set up yesterday. I always have all my angels and really you want to put in your march all of what your back line is going to be after what's required for your front line so you notice all my figures i have 12 in except for my even mages i don't use the even mages when i'm going heavy odd mages <sighs> god damn but that's in different attacks. So I I tried it with some archers to see if I'd do any better. It didn't help. Um, so what I'm going to do so that I get my mages back over to be guarded by my odd infantry. I want my odd mages to be guarded. And I need to add even mages. Um, if I was going to solo with 130k mages and 84 five of my angels that's money two fourteen it leaves me forty K <sighs> every tree and if I split it up between the two and do twenty five and fifteen looks like I should be able to let's give this a try. Now I don't really care whether I win or lose anymore. Um so 25, I do 1, 1, all those, all these, 15, because I don't want my back line to take any damage, so, trying to think how I want to do it. So that I don't have a weak side. My my even mages are going to be fighting the opposing mages. So I don't want them too weak of a population because they'll go down fast. Nine eighty eight, two sixty four. All right. All right, so if this is done right, the back line doesn't get hit, then I should be able to just resend my march every time. And they did get hit. And it was the angels that got hit. Add a little bit of more infantry on the odd side. See if I can. So let's take a look. I'm the attacker. And with the four wide in the back, it leaves my mages on each end and my angels dead center. I guess they didn't take any hits this time. We could go back and replay, but let's take. <sighs> the archer's down a notch here. Save my angels some damage. Maybe I'll win this one because I'm on video. Unloading all of my deepest diary feelings and thoughts on the war and order fight aspect. How about it? Seems I took a little bit of damage again. You definitely need to save some infantry. So keep an eye on your infantry count. 
and maybe I'm lazy and I really need to dive into this stuff, but I went ahead and went even stronger on damage reduction from archers and added some infantry and finished off with a little bit less on mage. A lot of horses. I shouldn't take much loss at all on that one. See, see how my my infantry is going down. So, what I need to do is strengthen my front line. I think I'll change my colossus. Not afraid to do too much. I can add four, so let's try this. Because you do need your infantry to survive. And the more back line you have, the quicker you knock down the army that's attacking your infantry. Oh, that's a lot of mages. Shit, I click buttons too fast. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm trying to save some infantry because I'm about to show you guys what's up here. Alright. So, that hurt. It always ends up doing that to me. I lost 65k troops. Lots of my angels went down. That's because I was lacking infantry. Now, if I could have enough infantry every time, not only to keep my back line from ever being touched, but to last so this is when I call in reinforcements I'll show you invite your reinforcements pick somebody that's good that's got plenty of infantry all right you can't just pick anybody and hope all right back all your troops everything out of there and just send your beast you need somebody with a that their fresh march is going to beat this castle and stop right all right, so I won that one and it cost me no troops. Now this is who I got to go up against. All those mages, but he's got no front line. I might have this one. I might actually have a chance because my mages and my angels are strong as shit. So, let's hope. And we're going to watch this one. <laughs> Now we'll see the front line's going to drop quick, but every shot that his mages take is going to take out that group. And he is pummeling right on my angels. I need to knock his angels down. Alright, now I need to get on his mages heavy. His mages are hurting mine. He's got me beat. There's no way around it. I'm going to have to gear against mages stronger. So, that was what I was trying to point out, is to conserve troops to make that strategic move to save yourself one of those last castles so that you can keep a full march. And then, whether you won or you lost... You're losing some points out of the Valor Shop, but regardless, get what you can get. And I always buy the relics. That is the key to success with your old Colossus. Thanks for watching.
watching. I got I got more to come. We got a Nemesis Archer. Um, been really busy this last week, uh, but we got an Archer bonus, and you all who've been following me know that I have a C35 I've just converted to Archer, and it just got T11 Angels. So we're gonna see how that turns out. We'll go up against what I can do with this guy here. Have a good night.